Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to talk to you about a new study that has come out regarding the autistic spectrum and diet. And this is a very highly contested area where there's been a lot of anecdotal types of studies where parents have reported that their autistic spectrum children do much better on a gluten-free and casein-free diet. So casein is the major protein that you find in dairy products and uh, gluten is a protein found in the grains, wheat, rye, and barley. And that um, this is an area where there hasn't been a lot of kind of hard research occurring, but there's definitely been a lot of speculation and um, a lot of clinical um, experience. Certainly, I fall into that category. Uh, we see patients in the autistic spectrum that seem to do much, much better on a gluten-free and casein-free diet. And as I mentioned, many parents report similar uh, reactions, but there hasn't been a lot of studies. So this was a great study because they really called together uh, some of the research that has been done and um, what they reported was this. So they took a 162 children with autistic spectrum disorder and they compared it to a control group of healthy children, uh, 44 in number. They went to great efforts to make sure that these children in the autistic spectrum did not have celiac disease because of course if they did they would react to gluten uh, so they made sure that they did not have um, celiac disease but what they found was that indeed the immune system of the children with the aut autistic spectrum uh, was very much more irritated and inflamed by both gluten and casein as compared to the healthy normal control group. So once again, these children with autistic spectrum uh, disorders uh, were much more reactive to gluten and casein as compared to uh, the healthy children of the control group. So it, it very much corroborates what I see here in the clinic and what a lot of parents have reported. And so that was uh, good to see finally in a study. Also, we talk a lot about leaky gut, which these researchers also looked at and uh, the results were quite impactful. So basically what the leaky gut is about is the fact that partially digested food can, can leak out or escape through holes in the small intestine uh, before the food has been properly digested. Now, if the body's having a bad reaction to a food, a healthy, non-leaky gut would, would keep that food um, product within the gut and just excrete it when the, when the uh, person went to the bathroom and had a bowel movement um, because it's not considered a friend to the body. So um, your small intestine does that for bacteria that come its way and parasites that come its way, toxins that come its way when it's healthy. That's the caveat, right? So. Um, a healthy small intestine will keep these bad guys within its confines and then excrete them, not allowing them to enter the body. However, when a leaky gut is present, then these things leak out into the system and create, can create a lot of problems. Now, of course, the protein in gluten and the protein in casein um, is absolutely known to affect the nervous system. And this is much higher in gluten sensitivity as opposed to celiac disease, and it's absolutely seen in, in the, the dairy protein as well, casein. So uh, some of these uh, products are called gluteomorphines and caseomorphines for a morphine-like effect that they have. It also creates that craving for that. So if you have a child that just has to have dairy products and has to have gluten products and you know is very very emphatic about it and they seem to to really be almost addicted to it then they could be being affected in this way so once again that problem happens due to the leaky gut also the inflammation of the nervous system so behavioral problems seen with the autistic spectrum also happens due to this leaky gut at least when it's associated with gluten and, and casein so what was phenomenal was that, I'm just looking at the exact numbers here, was almost 26% of the children with the autistic spectrum had a leaky gut as opposed to a mere 2% of the healthy normal children. Huge, huge difference. So uh, what we're really seeing here is some nice research coming out in support of uh, the fact that 
healing a leaky gut and making these dietary changes could be a very nice impact on children suffering with autistic spectrum because indeed their immune system is having a negative response to these proteins. So if you know any children that fall into this category or you know their parents, uh, please consider sharing this with them. This information could really uh, impact their child and just um, make their life a whole lot better. So uh, I hope you found this informative. I will include the exact reference in my notes uh, of the video. And uh, until next time, I wish you very good health. And please send me your questions as you come up with them. I always love hearing from you. So until next time.